chasing you. Some lag there. Uh, he's not on body yet. He's, going to, he's jumping over body, jumping over body. And he's not on body. Now he's on body. Going for the res. He's, he's rising, he's rising body, he's rising body. Might have a grenade ready to go. Holy Ooh. shit, man. Sick, bro. That, bro. Holy shit, man. That was sick. Dude. Oh, I fucking missed the wrong melee. He's up on top. One's pushing on the bottom. Oh. Don't peek, his heart's broken on the ghost. Wow, bro. Did you just fucking point for snipe this guy? What's going on guys? Apathetic here with all your tips, recommendations, and everything in between. And today, we're going to talk about a subclass that can instantly help improve your sniping. Let's get into it. Pop Tree Dawnblade received a nice rework quite some time ago, but only seems until recently more and more players are starting to tap into the potential of this subclass, and specifically when it comes to players who main snipers. But all of this really came to a head for me personally when the most recent trials map was Widow's Court, a map that very heavily favors snipers, and one could argue a much more passive style of play and this forced me to put my shoddy away and play a lot more top tree down blade with my sniper almost instantly I was playing significantly better not just on the map but something had changed with my sniping I was able to snipe a lot more aggressively and play a similar play style that I'm used to but by but using a sniper and I realized it had everything to do with with what Top Tree Dawn allows me to do. So let's break down the reasons why Top Tree Dawn can make your sniping go next level. One of the biggest challenges about sniping is finding ways to defend yourself against more aggressive players, particularly players using shotguns. With Top Tree Dawn Blade, we have multiple tools at our disposal to win some of these close engagements, even with a sniper in hand. Starting with Celestial Fire, the long range melee that also has some light tracking. This medium, and some would even argue long range melee, is super potent when you pair it with a sniper. Having this melee ability allows us to focus on going for the body shot, then immediately following up with that melee attack. Because of its range, it allows us to kill our opponent before they can get into that shotgun range, and the nerfs to shotgun range have also really opened up things for this playstyle. But using Celestial Fire this way requires us to show some constraint because after all, the sniper melee combo becomes a lot more risky without Celestial Fire available. Meaning, we have to do our very best to not recklessly use Celestial Fire. Players will use Celestial Fire to make the enemy weak or shoot at a Titan Shield or something random instead of using it as a finisher ability. And that's how we need to think of Celestial Fire. Think of it as a finisher move that pairs with something else, whether that's a shotgun or a sniper shot. Now the last thing we can use to really take Celestial Fire to the next level and help our ability to effectively snipe and stay alive is pairing it with Karnstein Armlets, which upon getting melee kills will restore a nice chunk of our health. This exotic makes saving our Celestial Fire as a finisher ability even more important, because even with Warlock's increased melee range, we still melee slower than any other class, which still leaves us at a disadvantage. It will be hard to trigger Karnstein with our normal melee, especially in a 1v3 scenario. Do yourself a favor and save that Celestial Fire to finish off your enemies and trigger that health regen to turn your Warlock into a Juggernaut. Another great way Top Tree Dawn Blade improves our sniping is by helping us with the element of surprise. One of the best ways to improve our sniping is to take creative and unpredictable angles. Forcing our enemy to be constantly guessing and surveying the map trying to see where we will snipe them from next and is forced to play on their toes. Heat Rises takes angles and unpredictability and cranks it up to 11. Heat Rises allows us to consume our grenade, which extends the length of time we can float in the air, and improves our in-air accuracy. This ability really shines on maps like Widow's Court, where there's a lot of room to elevate, or it has an outside area where you could be floating, where any other class simply can't be. The key here is not using it every single time we have our grenade, but being smart and dare I say sneaky with it. For me, I found in Trials, that's the best time to use Heat Rises, and it's when your team has eyes on the enemy, allowing you to pop Heat Rises and flank from above with relative safely, safety when it's heavy round and you know the enemy team is going to be pushing from a specific area of the map and at the beginning of a match. By doing it at the beginning of a match, your enemy is now going to be constantly looking for you to be up in the air, going for those cheeky in air snipes. This opens up the more obvious sniping lanes that other, your other teammates will be able to use. 
One tip I would also have for this type of playstyle is putting Icarus mods on every weapon that can have it. This allows our in-air accuracy to be on point whether we have heat rises procced or not. Because now, by you having an impact from the sky, it adds another layer of things that the enemy team has to account for. Now the last thing that really makes sniping on this class great, and is honestly the main thing that causes a lot of people to gravitate towards this subclass, is Icarus Dash. This dashing ability has so much utility when it comes to sniping, and a lot of it ties into things we have already mentioned in this video. The first thing it ties to, into is our ability to counter shotgun rushers, and I'll admit this tip is more useful for PC because of your ability to turn around so quickly, but what you can do is you can turn, sprint, Icarus dash away and then flip around and primary down someone who is rushing with a shotgun and it's one of the mess the best plays you can make in destiny 2 and without Icarus dash in that engagement 90% of the time we would die and people often underestimate how fast we can move when using our Icarus dash speaking of being underestimated with how fast we can move with Icarus dash it allows us to get to those crazy angles or even more normal angles on maps even faster it allows us to get a leg up on our enemy because we can beat them to admin Contagious areas of the map every single time and as I mentioned earlier with the shotgun example we can get out just as quickly allowing us to regroup with our teammates and prepare for the next push another thing that's really useful with Icarus dash is when you're using heat rises to catch your opponents off guard when floating super high in the air if you aren't landing your shots or you don't catch the enemy off guard you are pretty vulnerable but enter Icarus dash as our get out of jail free card there have been a couple of times where the enemy expected me to be floating and Icarus dash allowed me to dodge out of the lane and get behind cover when otherwise I would have been done for. Overall guys, I'm absolutely loving this subclass because of how well it pairs with a sniper. And this is coming from someone who is traditionally a shotgun main. I can't tell you how much I look forward to continuing to master pairing my sniper with Top Tree Dawn. And I'll make sure to share my findings and any additional tips I discover while going on this journey. But let me know in the comments if you've tried this pairing. If so, how are you liking it? And what tips do you have for mastering this combo? With that guys, thanks so much for watching. And if you enjoyed, make sure you like, share, and subscribe is a free way to support me and if you want to watch me live go ahead and check me out at twitch.tv forward slash apathetic i know we were just on mixer before but after a little over a month there is currently too much missing on that platform and i found most of you prefer twitch anyway so hopefully i'll see you there and i'll catch you guys in the next video yo i thought we got a piece of gear on the third win Shot at the bottom. They're at the bottom by a flag. there it scared me I only have one shot I had to make a choice what all right same I'm gonna push down Beagle push down with me right away Woo. sniping oh, it's gonna be right there uh, sign by sign Combo, man. I like this fucking combo we have here, Appa. You're sniping. I'm shotgunning. It's weird. I feel like if I don't push like you in a normal game, I'm not doing it right. Wow. Toxic. All I want to know, Brave, is when. Oh my gosh, they're in the back! A 2v3. Hmm? What's that? When has this become a 2v3? Good, you're good, you're good, you're good, you're good. My frames fucking died on that one. Good. <laughs>